Hey guys, I am Sandeep Sadas. Welcome back to my channel with another medicinal tutorial educational video. And this video is all about the Pneumovax 23 pneumonia injection or vaccine. What's what you say? This injection is made by MSG and Netherlands based company. So basically this video is for tutorial and educational purpose. So don't administer yourself. If you want to take this vaccine, you have to consult with your doctor then you can take so what's the use of this medicine who can take how can take what's the advantage of this pneumovax 23 and what the side effects so i'm gonna cover all these topics in this single video if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button below share with your friends and family please subscribe my channel so without any further delay let's get started <laughs> Before showing you the exact procedure, the how to take the vaccine, let me uh, answer you some frequently asked questions. The first question is that, what is Pneumovac vaccine? From the name, you can understand, it is that vaccine which helps to prevent pneumonia diseases, which happens mainly at lungs. So it doesn't cure you if it is already there, but it prevents you. So, you know, precaution is better than prevention. So this is a precaution vaccine. If you take this in future, it will prevent you from any types of pneumonia diseases. It is not assured that 100% it, it will protect you. But yes, ch chance of getting the pneumonia disease will be reduced at least up to 90% or 95%. Next question is that why pneumonia happens? A bacteria is responsible for that. The bacteria's name is Streptococcus pneumoniae or pneumococcus bacteria, which goes into your lungs, then it infects your lungs become weak becomes the pneumonia disease it will infect your blood then it will go to your brain and it will make the meningitis and even it will uh, make your ear infected so if you have any kinds of blood pressure heart related problem kidney problem liver problem then it will increase the chance of more infection of those organs so that's why this vaccine prevents you from the pneumonia disease who can use this pneumovac vaccine generally anybody can use above the age of two years so below two years uh, children or child is not allowed to take this vaccine greater than two years any person any adult any senior can take this also it is very mandatory to take this vaccine if you are greater than 50 years old or 60 years old or especially if you have any heart related issue liver problem or asthma then obviously you should should take please consult your doctor you may choose any general medicine doctor or your doctor just tell them about your previous or chronic disease you are the medicine you are taking presently then if your doctor think and he will or she will prescribe this vaccine and also if you are pregnant woman then you should not take this vaccine how much dose you can take look this dose will be fixed by your doctor only uh, it was told by the doctor to take only once in five years basically your doctor will fix the dose so how does it work this pneumovac 23 this pneumovac 23 contains 23 types of pneumococcal stereotypes the stereotypes uh, are 20 uh, milligram each and out of that there is a water for ingestion and sodium chloride 0 0.9 percent and phenol 0 0.2 5%. So these are the mild infection, original bacteria infection, but those are very mild. Those are in injected just to give your body a message to create antigen from the future real infection of pneumococcal bacteria. So as soon as the mild infection are injected in your body, your body thinks there is an infection and start to build antigen and prevention um, against this uh, pneumonia diseases. What's the side effects and precaution of it? Look, as it is a safe vaccine, uh, there is no such big side effects. So as a general uh, reaction of like any other uh, vaccines, uh, same happens. Injection site reaction, it may be swell and the limb mobility may be decreased or some little bit of pain, fever, chillies, nausea or vomiting or skin rashes issue may happen. I have already told what the precaution you should take. Uh, you should not take in case you have any chronic disease or kidney uh, related issue or if you are pregnant woman, it is not recommended for the child below 
This is the new cocal polysaturate vaccine. I hope you can see this is made by MSD and imported by MSD India. Its MRP is 2100 and you have to preserve this vaccine at the 2 degree to uh, 8 degree centigrade but make sure you don't freeze it and stay approx 2 years of expiry date so you can use as per that date. So here you can see this is how it looks. This is the syringe and this is the medicine and this is the user guide. So you can read if you wish. So beside of the Pneumovac 23 vaccine, you need a pair of medical use and throw hand gloves, one medical bandit, 75% alcohol based swab pad, a medium piece of medical standard cotton. If you have round banded, then you can use that. Otherwise can use this normal one. Again, in case if you don't have alcohol swab pad, then can use normal 75% medical sterile alcohol that will have to be soaked in another round of cotton ball only just before of the vaccination procedure. And you must have to keep these things on any flat, clean, dry and sanitized surface. So make sure your hand is clean and washed with disinfectant soap. After that, just dry your hand and sanitize your hand again with 75% alcohol based hand sanitizer or hand rub. Then first open the vaccine and prepare the pre-filled vaccine syringe. Just tear the plastic seal very carefully and make the stuffs out from the container. The syringe comes at two parts. One is the syringe body while another one is the attachable needle. The syringe is pre-filled with the solution and all the information with expiry and manufacturing date has been specified on the vial. So first just hold the syringe firmly and rotate the top cap clockwise to open it. You can see after opening the cap it will look like this and this is the head where you will have to attach the needle. The head is made on push and rotate mechanism. Now to make out the needle just hold the lower portion and the upper portion of the needle's container firmly with the help of your both hands then rotate the top portion and lower portion both at a time at a different direction like this way which you can see on the screen. Now attach the needle gently on the syringe head push and rotate mechanism as I have shown. As it goes fixed on the syringe head then you have to remove the needle cap but remove the needle cap only before you are ready to give the vaccine. As the needle portion is very sensitive so it should not be touched with your naked hand or any other surfaces. Now again sanitize your hand with alcohol based hand sanitizer and wear that medical hand gloves. I will recommend to wear the hand gloves from the preparation of the syringe or from the first. So as it is an intermuscular vaccine, so you have to choose the deltoid muscle of the upper portion of any either hand. To locate the deltoid muscle, just lift two fingers from the shoulder and this portion is the ideal for the vaccination. This muscle is called the deltoid muscle. Now take the swab pad or sterile alcohol soaked cotton which you have and sanitize the skin area by just swapping on the skin. Now take the cotton ball on the left hand while the syringe on the right hand. The cotton ball will help you to wipe any excess blood coming out after the vaccination. Now remove the cap of the needle and if there are any bubble just release them by pushing the plunger slowly very little bit or just give little gentle shake with the finger at the head of the syringe. But make sure there are no bubble or air gap or air at the syringe. Bubble or air gap can cause serious health trouble after the vaccination. Then hold the deltoid muscle by squeezing with your left hand and by keeping the needle head upward just pierce the needle carefully through the skin at 90 degree angle. Immediately push the plunger of the syringe fully down slowly until all the solution goes inside. Make sure your hand is totally steady at the time of vaccination. When the whole solution goes in, just pull the syringe out at the same angle slowly and wipe out if any excess blood comes out with the cotton ball. Also hold the cotton for a few seconds over the vaccination site. After removing the cotton, just massage the area gently with two fingers but make sure it is not too much. Then apply the bandaid over the piercing site. And patients should avoid contact of oil, soap or any other cream for next two days over that injection site. Now the vaccination is completed totally and you have to take it again after 5 years or as per 
your doctor has prescribed you. You may face the pain at the injection site or fever after this vaccination which is just normal as I have said earlier of this video but if the pain or fever symptom continues then you have to consult your doctor again. So vaccination is complete and as a result you have to remove the needle like this way and dispose the needle immediately at the sharp container which must not come into the contact of human or any animal. Don't throw out the needle at any normal garbage bag or anywhere outside that may be very dangerous or life threatening to any person any human or any animal okay also dispose the syringe cotton and other stuffs at that garbage bag i will not recommend to administer this vaccination process yourself i will recommend to take this vaccination from your doctor or nurse so it will prevent you from any other serious health issue in the future i hope you liked it if you have found this video helpful then don't forget to hit the like button below also i have made uh, the video about influenza vaccine influ tetra and uh, you can watch that video from i button so i have to catch you soon in that video also don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter instagram i was sandeep sandas signing off have a great day